The same thing would apply uh, to a, a few of the emerging growth stocks. And in almost every case, we are still buying those, so I won't mention a name. Okay. So, and that's, you're looking at Canadian stocks specifically there. What, when you look at the Canadian market in general, you, you sort of see it as, as this pessimistic hole where right now the bargains are great. Is that your general view of the market right now? When do you think it'll change from that? We never know when it will change. Each day we buy that thing that is most depressed in price, and eventually most of them recover. But we never know. We have to hold things very patiently. Average holding period of five years in order to profit from buying things at the right time. But, yes, we are now holding 10% of our clients' money worldwide in Canadian stocks, which is high because the Canadian stocks make up only 2.5% of all the stocks in the world. So we have four times as much as normal in shares of Canadian companies because we find bargains. So this uh, philosophy of the, the little guy who's staying out of the market because he, he's afraid it's a depressed place to be, this is not the right philosophy, according to you. That is certainly the case, but it's human nature. Almost everybody, even some of the professionals, will wait to buy until their outlook is good. But if you do that, you will never get a bargain. Share prices don't go down to low prices except under the pressure of selling, and they don't sell except under c conditions of worry. Well, Sir John Templeton, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.